everyone, this is Brandon and Phil from Zade Comics, co-creators of Magic Cop and The Lost Pages. Lost Pages is on Indiegogo right now, and we're just the two best looking brothers in all of comics. Today we're doing another Zade Comics update with some more uh, information about how everything's going and all of the projects that we're working on and uh, all the other cool things that are happening at Zade Comics and uh, just stuff in general. So uh, we had a really good week last week. Uh, very just screaming along with lost pages, a lot of cool stuff happening, a lot of awesome progress in the Indiegogo sales. And uh, what else? I changed my oil in the car that we're in right Bill now. Changed his oil. Minimal help from me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, what else? Oh, we showed off something that actually got us uh, a good handful of sales is we showed off this colored piece of uh, the interior cover for the people which was uh, a huge post that we did on Twitter, got a bunch of likes, lots of retweets, awesome traction on that. And um, our artist, Avery, is just killing it on that. Uh, that's gonna be in the bonus comic, so I uh, did a little update to kind of entice the backers that may not have picked up the, uh, the bonus comic, so they could, they could still get on that if they want to. Um, and I would, you know, suggest definitely doing that because you're gonna be introduced to all kinds of new characters that we're still adding. So, yeah, that, that's uh, definitely the way to get the most comments, our content out of the lost pages entirely. And Avery uh, Butterworth, with right. no S, right. uh, he won the, uh, the fan contest, art the fan yeah. art contest. Even you know, it's not uh, because he's on the book or anything. He actually was hired on the book after he had submitted that already right yeah so that's a, a factoid maybe not everybody knows so Very similar to yeah. alan alonzo right. from the Howell comics he won the magic cop fan art contest so now we have and uh, those guys kind of teamed up on this cover because alan did the logo um so that's that's on there and it fits perfectly with the character uh avery's coloring the the whole all of his art himself as well so that's chucking along and that was you know really great for us got us some awesome sales and um, today as of now just leaving the office right now we just got uh, our last sale was pushed us to 313 backers and we're like $64 away from breaking that $20,000 mark um, which could easily amazing. be accomplished today right hopefully yeah. by the time this video is posted we'll be past 20k Already, that would be amazing, um, and that would unlock some more awesome stories. The Kyung Lee story, who, uh, if you're a backer, I just put out an update today. I showed off kind of a, um, a rough thumbnail sketch of the Drift Legend story that he's doing. So he's been working with me uh, doing those layouts, and yeah, I'm super excited about that. I love those layouts because they look like storyboards for a movie yeah he's so good just fluid and like the minimal design of that that style he has to doing his thumbnails is, is so cool yeah he puts so much motion even just in those layouts you right. know there's so much action and so you can tell that it's just going to be out of this world seeing that fully drawn final uh story that he's going to do yeah that's going to be awesome really really amazing and um the other thing i wanted to talk about is we got an update from Blockheads, who is doing uh, the Blockhead for the Lost Pages. Uh, if you guys were backers of Magic Cop, you received a Blockhead for Iggy with his magic wand, and uh, we're so excited to get Blockheads on the campaign again. Uh, we blew past that stretch goal, I think, probably in the first you know couple days uh, of having the campaign up, and. He, uh, he's finally showing up, so we have an update to the silhouette blockhead for the campaign. And he just looks so cool. It totally fits the uh, the style of Max's art, doing like the scratchy stuff and silhouette. Yeah, it's awesome. I love the way the lines are on the character. I mean, you know, it's a very simple design, but he's got the little hair tuft coming up yeah. on there and the lines in his eyes. It makes him very unique and a very cool looking character. Yeah, the hint of blue around his eyes to make it look like his eyes are glowing. Yeah, that's awesome. a good touch. Perfect, yeah. Sure. So you guys can look forward to that uh, when you're back. And even if you've got a digital copy you know, from out of the country and you want um, to get that digital tier, you'll get a PDF 
of that blockhead so you can print them out put them together yourself. Yeah, they always come with the comics. We did that with for Magic Cop. We want to keep that going with the lost pages and all the other projects. Yeah, we really want to make as much of this content available for all the backers. Yeah. Um, it's just throwing in a little something extra for those digital digital tiers as well. Yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, we're still trucking along. You're now on to another page of Magic Cop. How's yeah. that going? Uh, that one's... It's awesome. We're still, in the last week I was really busy with everything, but, uh, so I finished up that page of that intro, and now I'm on the second page of the intro, and I have that fully sketched out. Now I'm just doing the inking on that, so I'm looking forward to getting all of that done, and as soon as I'm done with that page, I'm actually going to start on the Pianist four-page short story, which is in the Lost Pages, which is already unlocked as a stretch goal. Was that one of the first stretch goals that were unlocked? Yeah, it was actually the first uh, big like bonus comic stretch yeah, it was goal. The first bonus comic stretch goal. So those pages will be started off, and I want to put a lot of good quality into that as well. So I'm gonna make sure I put a lot of time onto those pages. It's just four pages, but I want to make them look really nice and very stylized in like that world of the pianist yeah. and assassin world. So For sure. that's pretty uh, exciting to do a little bit of a change of pace onto a new sequentials and I've only ever done Magic Cop sequentials like as I did Ricky Brown's and that was a bit yep. different. But Magic Cop uh, now going to the doing the pianist that'll be a, a nice change of pace. Yeah we're always you know pumping out updates every day on our social media uh, and you know so much so that you know when we do these videos we probably forget about some <laughs> so definitely go over and follow us on Twitter um, you go to zaycomics.com to get all the links and links are in the description below uh, and yeah so we're posting all the time Instagram as well and uh, hit that bell for notifications so you know when we're going live another way you guys can support us is if you see in the description down below there's an Etsy store and we have shirts and different merch that really helps us out uh, if you pick some of those up to rep the brand mm -hmm. uh, we're kind of a lifestyle brand yeah just a comic a lifestyle brand. Brand. Yeah. Uh, yeah so check those shirts out we got a bunch from Magic Cop the Lost Pages and all of our buddies um, that are doing comics as well so you can support them um, and yeah, yeah make enough. sure you guys watch the hard line we do those streams every Monday night and if you guys aren't around on Monday nights make sure you guys go back and watch the replays of those because they're pretty fun there's a lot of goofy joking around and making fun of each other and stuff like that it's all uh, you know in good taste tasteful fun humor yeah uh, classic comic book guy stuff yeah. so we're always having a really good time and leave those comments too. those help us out grow the channel yeah um, so what are you guys excited about coming up we have one week left for the Lost Pages, seven days, so get on there, uh, back if you haven't backed, if you have, back again, and uh, spread the word around, because we're going to try to get you guys as much awesome stuff as possible with this project. Yeah, it's super exciting, and uh, I'm looking forward to everything getting out there, I love seeing it grow. So thank you guys for watching, make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See ya.